This is a presentation of the National War Memorial for the Valor Canada History and Heritage Scholarship 2020. First, I would like to acknowledge that the contents of this video were filmed on the unceded territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabeg people. The National War Memorial is situated on Wellington Street in Ottawa, Ontario. It was unveiled in 1939 after winning a worldwide competition for the creation of a new Canadian memorial. The monument's most obvious features are a large arch with two angelic figures perched on top, as well as several human figures beneath the arch who represent different roles in the war effort. A nurse, an infantryman, and a sailor are some of the sculptures that were chosen to represent Canadian citizens fighting for their country. This grandiose monument, also known as the Response, was originally dedicated to those who had fought on Canada's part in World War I. After some more recent changes, the Cenotaph now pays tribute to Canadians who have served in various conflicts throughout Canadian history. The memorial includes several dates on all sides of the stone arch. These represent the South African War, the First World War, the Second World War, the Korean War, and the mission in Afghanistan. In each of these conflicts, Canadians fought for the values they held dearest to their hearts, freedom, democracy, and equality. Whether they fought behind British influence, alongside allies, or alone, they proved their strength as individuals and as a nation. At the foot of the memorial is a newer addition, which is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. This was created in the year 2000 in order to commemorate the 28,000 Canadians who died in battle and are buried across the world. The memorial is a sarcophagus which contains the remains of an unknown soldier who fought in the First World War and was originally buried in France. Three of the four corners are decorated with a royal cipher representing the three past monarchs of Canada, King George V, King George VI, and Queen Elizabeth II. The final corner is inscribed only with a poppy, a symbol of those who may lose their lives in future battles. Together, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and the National War Memorial represent the sacrifice and collaboration that led to the freedoms and rights that we now possess. Surrounding the monuments are several plaques, which explain the symbols and history of the memorial in more depth. The benches, flowers, and educational plaques around the memorial create an inviting atmosphere, which encourages people to pause, reflect, and educate themselves about Canadian history. There is a shocking contrast between the somber subject of the memorial and the beauty of the surrounding nature. Another feature in the vicinity of the National War Memorial is the collection of flags that fly nearby. The flags celebrate the collaboration of the Canadian nation as a whole, as each flag represents a different province or territory. As we know, regardless of one's place of origin, all Canadians are brought together by the unifying symbol of the Canadian maple leaf. 